Collectively in the Trader and Strategy Contest, we have over 1,300 members battling it out for the top spots. This month is drawing closer to an end, so make sure you register before the 25th to be in with a chance of winning. Now, with a large amount of market moving news releases out this week, let's see which traders have been on their toes. One of the best trades this week was on the pound yen. This trader opened the order just below 128 and set his take profit at 130. He made 212 pips on this trade. However, if the trader took a risk and set his take profit at 131, he would have hit that and gained more. Now, our next trader uses Ichimoku to define entry and exit points. He gained 98 pips on the New Zealand dollar, US dollar. Tatsuki profited 126 pips on the Euro Canadian dollar. The take profit was set at an optimistic 128.50. The trader decided to close the position manually as it found support and was trying to break through the 130 level. And here we see another optimistic take profit set, this time on the US dollar, Canadian dollar. The Bank of Canada interest rate announcement dragged the pair down, but not far enough for this trader. He pulled the plug on the transaction and made 94 pips. Let's now turn our attention to the Traders Contest Movers and Shakers. Our top mover this week gained 55 places but still needs a few more to make it into the top 20. Last week's visitor to the show is the top decliner this week. He lost 71 places to now sit in the 91st spot. Now our first guest to the contest checkup this week is located in the UK. He'll take us through his strategies for manual trading. Metacore, over to you. Well, basically what I do is that uh, before I start uh, in a market, um, I, I kind of like get a view over the market first. Uh, what I do is I, I, I'm, I'm looking at, um, at the DAX and the Dow, and when the Dow, or basically the DAX in the morning when it starts moving, uh, I get a prior highs and the lows for the for the previous day I draw the horizontal lines <coughs> across and then what I do is I wait for a breakout. If I don't if I don't find any breakout in, in that time for the for the DAX, you know, or I mean if, uh, also on the in a specific currency view that I have, maybe say for instance the, the pound uh, or the euro dollar, the thing is uh, these uh, commodities uh, Aussie and New Zealand <coughs> and CAD they follow very closely on the DAX. Now if I do find a, a breakout in that DAX happening between eight and then one o'clock in the, in, the, in the afternoon, then that's basically a specific strategy I will take, or, or uh, I wait for a bob actually to finish above that, and I'll take the strategy if it's a sell or a buy. Uh, there's another one I also use. It's also the um, uh, the uh, uh, Jimmy's band basically, or the swing, uh, which I use the envelope bands at. Uh, I use the period of sixty, and I also use another one, the average of a uh, zero point one. And uh, what I do is on that is that I wait for or I see if I can have a, a prior swing uh, up or down. Uh, and then uh, also it needs to be about 70, 75% of that swing before it can actually be a valid, uh, uh, how do I say this, a buy or a up. If there is a bar uh, forming above the uh, upper band or the lower band. <coughs> now the thing is for that to be valid, uh, the thing is I need at least uh, 36 bars below the uh, lower band or the upper band, it depends on which way the swing is, and then none of them touching the upper band or the lower band, and the next one forming above the one, the well, if it's a downswing and it forms above the upper band, that will be basically my, um, my, uh, my buy. Now our next trader is from Romania, and he'll give us an insight to his automated trading strategy. One good trade, take it away. Essentially my strategy is a counter trend strategy and is trying to shift the basic economic principle of buy low and sell high. It seeks to enter a trade in the opposite direction of the apparent trend after detecting a larger than normal price deviation and overbought oversold condition using basic technical indicators. It exits a trade when the profit target is reached, but it can reverse its mind very quickly and follow the opposite trend immediately if an opposite signal is generated. The downside of my strategy is that the trend may continue, so it is critical to keep losses small by using stops. Because the risk management is computerized, the strategy is taking advantage of an automated position size management and it has a good risk reward ratio as there is no place for emotions. And which currency pairs do you trade? 
As the world's most liquid currency pair, the Euro US dollar is my favorite because it offers very low bid ask spreads and constant liquidity. Okay, now before we finish up, I'd like to mention our newest addition to our competitions. It's called the FX Prediction Contest and can be found on our Dugas Copy Facebook page. This week we are asking what the rate will be for the Kiwi dollar on Monday the 23rd at 12 GMT. You have until late Friday evening to enter. So good luck to everybody in the Dugas Copy Forex community. Trade well and goodbye for now.